Hey guys, it's GhostCuber, and today I have a setup tutorial for the Gan Pyraminx. So I've been using this puzzle a lot and I really like it, but in my opinion it gets significantly better after some very simple mods. So in this video I'm going to show you how to perform those mods as well as set it up. Let's get into it. I'm using a brand new enhanced version of the Pyraminx, which in my opinion is the only one worth getting. The weak magnets in the other two versions are way too weak in my opinion, and I would not recommend getting anything other than enhanced. So out of the box, this puzzle is very smooth, pretty quiet, and it pops pretty easily. In addition to popping, it's sort of unstable, and one of the mods is going to fix both of those issues, and the other one will make the tips a more reasonable strength, because they are very strong out of the box. So the first thing to do is get the tips off, which is a fairly difficult process. The easiest way I found involves using this plastic razor blade, and in the middle of each tip under the caps, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a groove under here right in the center, probably for a fingernail, but I found this to be much easier because you can get a better grip. So basically just stick it under and then feel for the groove and then just pull out and push up. It takes quite a bit of force and you will feel like you're breaking it, but just be somewhat careful and you'll be fine. So out of the box this puzzle has green springs and we are eventually going to be switching them to blue, but not yet. So the first thing you need to do is remove the springs and it's just the regular numerical GES. Once you get it to the loose position, I find it easiest to get them out by lifting the center up and then when you push it back down it will pop up. Still sometimes a bit tricky to get a grip on it, but it shouldn't be too bad. Now this is the first mod. I'm going to be using an RS2 here, but you can use pretty much any MoU 3x3 since 2016. So we're going to remove the hardware. Okay, that's fine. And we're going to take the washer and just put it over the stock on the core. So this will tighten the tensions which makes it more stable and it will reduce popping. And now that I think about it, it would make more sense to change the springs now instead of putting green back. And my preferred setting is blue on 0 0.8 with the washer mod. So we're just going to take this one and turning it clockwise puts it on 0.8. And we're just going to repeat that on every side. Okay, so now the washer mod is done and tensions are quite a bit tighter. It is still possible to pop it and I have popped my other one in solves a couple times but it's much more difficult now. So the other mod is pretty risky so I'm actually going to go over the setup first. It's not mandatory to do the other mod so I would recommend setting it up first and then deciding if you want to do it. So. The setup for this puzzle is extremely simple. I'm just going to use weight 5 all around. So I like to put a little bit on the torpedo through the fluorine hole when it's turned halfway. And then also just put a line on this piece.
And that should be just about all you need. If it's too slow, feel free to add some DNM on top of that. See, it, it can still pop, but it pops much easier uh, right after being lubed because there's just so much more friction. Let's see. So after it's broken in, popping shouldn't be too much of an issue, but it is still something to be aware of. But like I said, I would recommend breaking that in first and then proceeding to this mod if you think the tips are still too strong. It is fairly risky and quite difficult to do. But I'm going to be using thumbtacks here. So just take one out and there is a hole in front of the magnet and you're just going to basically stick it in there and try to pry the magnet out. Now, it is important to try not to break the plastic piece right in front of the magnet because if you misshape that too much, it can prevent the tip from going back on. Cool. I bought extra thumbtacks for a reason. Well, I got this to work once this morning. Okay, I'm going to show the other method I was using before, which is even riskier, but it seems to be easier, although it does take longer. So, this involves using scissors as a hammer. A real hammer would work, but I don't have one with me. So I'm going to switch to a different magnet. And there are also smaller holes all the way around the magnet. So I'm just going to try to expand those slightly by putting the thumbtack into one of them and just hitting it with the scissors. And then go all the way around. But avoid using the hole in the front because the plastic seems to be thinner there and you will go through it very quickly, which will damage the center. And again, this thumbtack is bent to the point where it's not super usable, so I'm going to get another one. And it looks like the magnet is starting to lift up, so now I'm going to go to the front hole. But it's important to be a little bit more gentle here. So I like to put it in at a bit of an angle, and then just tap it a few times to get it under, and then 
pry it up. Okay, I did go through it that time. So, like I said, just be really careful doing this. I'm just going to be switching the pieces with my other one that works. So I'm not going to finish doing this. But that should be about it. The last thing is just putting the tips back on and breaking it in more. Hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.